Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's whatever Wednesday, and we're whatever in some basketball today because my Clippers are on ESPN against the Rockets tonight, and I'm looking forward to watching. I was out running some errands way on the other side of town today, and after I was done, I was driving past... Uh, there's a local card shop out there, so I just swung in to grab myself a couple top loaders and see what was going on. Uh, I don't usually go to that shop because uh, it's way, way out of the way. Uh, and I walk in, and there's a cop uh, ripping packs at the counter, full uniform, his squad cruiser out, parked in the red zone, just chilling. Uh, thought that was really funny. Uh, he Probably on his lunch break. Uh, but they were ripping some uh, high-tech uh, he was ripping a little gold label. I was tempted to get a box of gold label because they had it for only 50 bucks a box. Um, but I was good because I was trying to save some money. And uh, I watched his break and it wasn't that great. Uh, but as they were standing there ripping packs of high tech, I was talking about shenanigans and the unofficial Starling Marte collection. And the dude behind the counter pulls his card and goes, here you go, my contribution to the unofficial Starling Marte collection. Just handed it to me. It was like, enjoy. Look at that. Numbered 40 out of 50. I mean, a numbered hit is a numbered hit, right? That uh, is some classic shenanigans right there. You just mention it and people give you free Starling Marte cards. Uh, good times. And so while I was in there picking up the top loaders and whatnot, I, of course, browsed the bargain bin and came across this baby. Never seen anything like it before. They actually had two of these booklets. One was uh, a single booklet for a game against the Warriors, uh, and I just didn't like that card as much because I love the red on this, and I love the front. Look at that. Make sure we got a good focus on this. Uh, it was in the bargain bin, but it didn't have a price on it, uh, and he wound up charging me 5 bucks, which I thought was a little high, but I was willing to do it because... Uh, it's DeAndre in Clippers gear. It's numbered 93 out of 99. If you can see, oh, there we go. Nice little shine on that, baby. And that's what it looks like there. It's the side of it, it says board members. Uh, really nice gold leafing and all of that. And then, of course, just the red is so pretty. Got the red jersey. Just awesome. Just awesome. 1,114 rebounds in 2016-2017. So I thought I'd show that baby off. And then uh, we're going to rip into this box uh, similar to a, uh, the same box we were before. It's pretty fun. Uh, it had like a, a kind of commemorative patch in here. Uh, the first one had the Kentucky Jayhawks, and I gave that one away uh, to a fab sub, and we pulled a couple really neat cards, so I thought, let's rip into it again, got the Lucky Cup here, and the Lucky Lawler, so, uh, let's get right into it, as always, check the description below for the link to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship, if you see cards you like, they can be yours, all right, so, oh, I, I had a feeling this was gonna be the case, it's the same patch, uh, which is a bummer, that's really disappointing to me, I was hoping it was just going to have a little bit of something else. but So, again, if you are a Jayhawks fan, I'm happy to send this to you. No pledge necessary unless you're feeling extra generous. Uh, but uh, just reach out to me if you're a, uh, a college basketball and a Kentucky Jayhawks fan. Rock Shock Jayhawk. And uh, I'll happily send that your way. So, last time we pulled some really nice stuff out of the Fat Pack and... Uh, looks like this one's a little bit different because it's got Lonzo on the front. And the rest look pretty similar to what there was before. So let's just get right into it and just tear away here. Have a little whatever Wednesday basketball fun. There we go. Only reason I got this again was because they're only $12.99, so it's less than a lot of those repacks that are a kind of standard 1999, uh, and we did pretty well last time. So just a little fun, fun box to get and uh, add to the basketball collection. And it has some nice inserts and everything. Nice Kevin Durant, Clint Capella, 
Got Ralph here itching us to chime in and say something, but uh, if we pull a hit, we will. I've been listening to the ESPN 30 for 30 on the Sterling Affairs, and it's fascinating uh, and sad stuff. Uh, the NBA is definitely better without a guy like Donald Sterling around. Uh, but it's it's also sad to listen to Ralph Lawler just talk about um, that time. So that's really cool. Big Anthony Davis, new Laker. They are doing very well. I don't think we pulled one of these before. And, and Bender's pretty good. I think he's actually getting better uh, all the time, if I'm recalling correctly. I mean, the Suns got some players. Um, but... That's really neat. It's a cool thing. I don't know if there's any Suns fans out there. You know, reach out to me. Let me know. Happy to put together, try to put together some basketball spoils packs. Let's get a little diversity here. Let's mix it up a little bit like that. The last time we pulled a really cool insert, it was like a piece of the hardwood. Um, and we pulled another card that felt like a basketball, if I recall. Just really cool cards. I've got high hopes. Come on, Lucky Cup and Lucky Lawler. Let's deliver. Nothing really in there. So many names that I just do not write. I mean, these are guys that must be like one and done or they're all in the G League or something. Because we are not pulling names that I'm recognizing. Well, that's a guy I recognize. Gosh, that must be like a... This must have been when he was hurt. And not playing, because, I mean, the hair is very long now. But it doesn't say rookie card. and doesn't have the rookie card logo. So I'm not really sure what that qualifies as. Oh, there he is. Arguably the worst number one overall pick, courtesy of my alma mater, UNLV, Anthony Bennett. Uh, this was one of those, he can't miss. He's 6'8", 245. Uh, that's Zion big, everybody. And he just came in. He drafted number one overall by the Cavs and just stunk up the building. He is out of basketball now, probably never to be heard from again. Uh, very disappointing because the only other number one overall pick out of the Rebels was Larry Johnson, who, great NBA career. Anthony Bennett, similar body type, like I said, like Zion, and just went in and couldn't, couldn't hack it. Couldn't handle the NBA. Luke Mbamute. So I think I've loosely mentioned this before uh, on the show. I don't really play a lot of video games uh, or sports video games, uh, but I did download NBA 2K. It was probably 18 because um, it was a free on PlayStation. And I played out the season, and the only trade I made was trading Luke Mbamute for Jamichael Green when he was on the Grizzlies and the game was like what are you doing that's a terrible trade and I wound up winning obviously the the title and now Jamichael Green is a clipper and a very good one and he's among the highest three-point shooting uh, guys in the league right now Kyrie all right buddy healed rookie card just signed a new contract uh, unfortunately, he's with the Kings, so uh, he's never going to win anything and, you know, not going to have a really great uh, experience up there, but uh, he, he got paid. So we'll hang on to that because he's, he's a good player. But yeah, Luke and Bamutin. So this one feels a little thicker. Let's do this guy first because that feels like it might have a little something in it. Are you itching, Ralph? You feel like there's something good in there? Timothy Luau Cabarro. Well, I probably butchered that. Luau. Yeah. Hmm. Joe Johnson, who drinking out of that fountain of youth. All right, let's see what we got out of this baby. I'm trying to be a little bit delicate, just in case there is a relic or an auto or something in there. Yeah, something thick, and it's purple. 
So we'll see what that is. Wow, what a face on Dennis Shree. He's like, focus, baby. Also, Clipper Paul George. And a new Clipper Zubat. Now, that's a good hit for me. Let's see, we got here. J.J. Barea. Whatever happened to J.J. Barea? He got a ring, though. So, Zubats is now a Clipper. This is what I was talking about. It was like the card we pulled that was like a hardwood. It's awesome that it's a rookie card. I actually didn't even know he was drafted by the Lakers. Um, and he's really, really coming in his, his own. He's very young. Uh, obviously, from overseas, I want to say he's only like 22, maybe. Um, but the the double-headed dragon uh, between him and Montrez Harrell, who is basically the new DeAndre Jordan. The, uh, it's a lot of fun. And at first, uh, Zubats, yeah, he doesn't quite have the same energy as DeAndre. But um, he he's definitely playing very well, so it's, I'm glad to see that. And he's sort of, you know, the starting. I don't know why they don't start Montrez. Um, they're doing a very odd thing, I think, with the Clippers, although it's smart in terms of, I guess, uh, rest. It's like you really don't see a lot of Kawhi and Montrez on the floor at the same time. Um, although we might see Paul George tonight. Uh, it's just an interesting thing to see how their kind of doc is playing the lineup. Um, but the bench is, I mean, they're going to probably break the record for points for a bench team this year uh they score like over 50 a game the bench come on baby let's get something good here yogi farrell kenneth farid there he is again let's see if it tells us how old he is Born in 97, so he's, yeah, he's like 20 year, 21 years old, give or take. Or 20, yeah, 23 maybe, I guess, if, if I'm on the long end. Jared Allen, he was supposed to be good. I don't know what happened to him. Zaza. Ugh, J.R. Smith, dumbest guy in all of basketball. Russell Westbrook backwards, Jabari Parker backwards, so the Westbrook is shiny. I was thinking, oh, maybe it'll be an autograph or something. Like, that would be insane to pull, like, a Westbrook autograph out of a repack, but clearly it's so insane we didn't do it. Very pretty card, though. We'll watch him tonight. Big scoop. There we go. Here's my man DJ. Getting ready to throw down a monster dunk. Carl Anthony Towns. I think he's angry he doesn't get the respect he deserves as a dominant player. And there's Jabari Parker. Well, not quite as great a break as last time, uh, but still pretty fun. Pulled some nice PC cards. You know? Ralph, did you want to say anything? I mean, it wasn't huge, but you can talk, Ralph. Bingo! Okay, you said it, Ralph. Bingo! Give you one last look at this before we close it out, just because it is so beautiful. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought of today's episode. Looking forward to reading those. Hopefully going to have a fun Throwback Thursday tomorrow. Remember to slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.